Vertebral body stenting, also called VBS or stentoplasty, is a percutaneous vertebral augmentation system which consists to insert and deploy two metallic stents inside the vertebral body. The goal of VBS is to restore the vertebral body height. At the end of the procedure, cement injection through the stents provides bone consolidation. Each stand is attached to a balloon catheter. The inflation of the balloon deploys the stand. The expansion ratio is up to 400%. During the inflation phase, one VBS can rise up to 100 kg. VBS is available in three different sizes. Current indication of VBS include the treatment of painful osteoporotic fractures, the treatment of traumatic compression fractures, and the treatment of osteolytic lesions of the vertebral body. VBS requires bilateral approach. On an axial view, the two stands should be slightly convergent. If the entry points are too medial, the stands will be too lateral, with a risk of rupture of the lateral vertebral body wall. If the entry points are too lateral, the stands will be too convergent, thus limiting their expansion because of a kissing effect. The best positioning of the stands is obtained with a 15 degrees oblique view. On the lateral view, the entry points should be determined in order to put the stands just below the fractured end plate. Insertion of the working cannulas can be done either with a direct puncture or first using a wire. For a direct puncture, the instrument consists of the working sleeve the side opening cannula and the trocar. After incision of the skin, the instrument is pushed till bone contact. Under careful fluoroscopic monitoring, the instrument is inserted inside the vertebral body. The side opening cannula and the trocar are removed. The tip of the working cannula should lie just in front of the posterior wall. The same procedure is then performed on the contralateral side. For the over-the-wire technique, the wire is first positioned inside the vertebral body. The instrument consists of the working sleeve, the side opening cannula and the cannulated trocar.
To create an access channel for the stands, the drill is first used through the working sleeve. The plonger is then pushed inside the vertebral body. The three grooves on the plonger's tip help to choose the size of the stand. If the first groove goes out the tip of the working sleeve, then you have place for a small stand. If the second groove goes out, it's for a medium stand. If the third groove goes out, that's for a large stand. The exact same procedure is performed on the other side. In case of subacute fractures, a vertebral body balloon can be used to test the mobility of the fracture and simulate the stent expansion. Vertebral body balloons are semi compliant balloons. They have to be inflated in the same time. Two stands are inserted through the working sleeve. The inflation systems are connected to the stands. Vacuum is created inside the balloon with the lure connector. The two stands are inflated slowly and simultaneously. The volume depends on the size of the stands. The maximum pressure is 30 atmospheres. Once the stand is expanded, the balloon is deflated. The stand stays inside the vertebral body and maintains the restoration of the vertebral body height. The two balloons are completely retrieved. Vertusum Plus is a PMMA-based bone cement. It offers a long working time of about 27 minutes. The injection cannula are inserted through the working sleeve inside the stands. Under fluoroscopy guidance, cement is ejected inside each stand. Cement should fill the cavity created by the stands and also infiltrates the surrounding cancellous bone. The injection cannula and the working sleeves are removed. It's the end of VBS procedure.